And uh, I really appreciate this, and uh, I hope to come in here on a more frequent basis and get a chance to chat with you. Um, I'm the, uh, as you know, I'm the project manager for Stop Taking Our Property, Thurston County. And I wanted to address something from the Olympian. Uh, there was an article yesterday, and I brought in a sample of the sign, which I can show you right here and, and to show everybody here. One of the uh, concerns that the uh, reporter from the Olympian, Nate, uh, gave me over the weekend was that uh, in some way that this sign logo by itself uh, was threatening. And uh, I just wanted to point out that is actually the shape of Thurston County right there. And in order to conform with DOT transportation requirements, it does not look like a stop sign. There's a certain percentage of it that you have to change the shape and do a few other things. So we believe we conform with those rules for this yard sign as well as the uh, Tumwater uh, sign ordinance. So that, uh, that's the sign there, and that addresses those issues. And that was kind of a silly concern that was brought up by staff there. But I do want to make, let it known that uh, certainly it's an open door policy. If staff has any concerns, they can talk to me anytime. I'm happy to come down and address them about those concerns uh, on a regular basis if they like or by invitation whenever they feel like it. And I can, I'm happy to tell them what we're doing. There's certainly no secret agenda or uh, you know, hidden secrets as to what we're doing. We had a couple town halls over the last five days. We had about 300 some odd people show up at those halls. And uh, 200 of those people volunteered to get more involved from the grassroots standpoint. So I'm sure that you'll see them doorbelling pretty soon out in the community as well as uh, letter writing and doing some other things. But because we want to make sure that we spread this word in the community, we will be putting a lot more town halls on. I have six scheduled right now for Tumwater, Lacey, um, and uh, Yelm. And then there'll be some more in Olympia, and I'm hoping to get out to Evergreen and make a presentation there too, uh, as well, and to any other organizations that want to talk. But there's no, uh, there's certainly no hidden agenda. There's no reason for anybody to be that fearful. There is, obviously people are angry. And I saw this when I was doorbelling earlier uh, during the election time. People don't like losing their property, and they don't like losing their money, and they don't like losing their future. They don't like having their family's future being destroyed before their eyes by regulation that they felt like they had no control over. So we hope that we can take that anger and direct it into more productive means rather than just ranting, but also being able to go out and actually do something with that and get more educated and communicate with you more on a regular basis. But it's always an open door. We're real close by up off Pacific Avenue, easy to get a hold of me. I live in Tonino and uh, don't sleep much, so we're always working on this. So I just want to make sure that that's uh, communicated clearly. Anybody that needs to chat with me anytime, I'd be happy to come in and talk to them. Thank you very much.